Today's video, we'll be talking about how Clemson lost to Georgia and how Dabo Swinney needs to evolve with the Clemson Tigers. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We are over 200 subscribers now, which I want to thank each and every one of y'all. Boy, the Clemson Tigers, they got, they got smacked Saturday uh, at 11 a.m. Exactly. And it just was not good from Clemson on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, we made a preview video Friday or Thursday or Friday, one of those days. And we were talking about how Clemson really needs to have a good offensive display versus a good Georgia team. I, I thought who would win this game was going to be the more consistent offense, more consistent quarterback. And Carson Beck was that. Georgia's offense was that. Almost put him at 500 yards in this game. So, what does that come down to? Does that come down to Clemson and Dabble not being good enough? Does that What does it come down to? It comes down that Clemson has struggled to evolve. They're like a dinosaur in today's era. College football isn't what it was 10 years ago. It sure wasn't even what it was five years ago or even a year ago. We just we have the 12 team playoff now. College football is a sport that is consistently evolving. You either have to evolve or you're not going to be very successful. And Clemson's still successful, so I gotta give them that. I mean, they still won a lot of games, but the past three to four years, even. It just hasn't been good enough. They have to figure that part out. And I've been a guy that hasn't, I haven't really gone into Diablo Sweeney with the transfer portal stuff. I haven't really made a ton of videos. But I am on the train now. Georgia is a talented team. Maybe you don't beat them regardless if you use the portal. But what happened on the field shouldn't happen to a team that has national championship desires and maybe Georgia is that good where they would do this to any other team in the country they probably would do it to 98 percent of teams I get it but Clemson is a team that has the talent that recruits the talent and has won multiple national championships in the last 10 years they have the potential to be a team that can compete with Georgia they didn't even look like they could compete for two quarters okay the defense kept them in the game and Georgia's offense was sputtering a little bit but you gotta give credit to, to uh, Clemson's defense I thought they had a good game they just couldn't hold up versus attacking Georgia offense when Clemson's offense was basically non-existent there's so many factors and we and I can get into quarterback play quarterback play do you as K Club Nick, it appears that he's not good enough. Uh, it's a harsh reality set, and he still has a whole year, so maybe he can evolve and be a good quarterback in college football. But it looks like the same story as DJ U from, from Florida State right now, where he was at Clemson, a young five star up and coming quarterback that has so much talent. It's basically useless because this offense is stale. It's not good enough. They have no playmakers on the outside, it feels like, or they're young playmakers. One of the biggest advantages with the transfer portal is the wide receiver position. The wide receiver position for the portal produces so many, so many talented guys. Think about how many portal wide receivers have a lot of production in college football. I bet you if someone mapped it out, it would be really high. The portal is really good for receivers, if you need receivers. And Clemson doesn't even use it. Imagine if they had a guy on the outside from the transfer pool that was a threat. Maybe they could push the ball downfield. Maybe it isn't all K Club next fall. Maybe he doesn't have the playmakers around him to be successful. Who knows? Maybe it's the play calling. But the fact is, there's something off with this team. If Georgia uses the transfer pool, if Alabama, if Ohio State, and you're not evolving, why should you not use the transfer portal, Dabo Sweeney? That's why I would ask him. If those teams are using it and they're having so much success, 
why do you tend away from it? Why are you looking away from it when the sport, it may not be what, I, I personally don't like what college football has become with the transfer pool and NIL. But I'm also not a guy that is going to be like, okay, I'm not going to watch college football now or anything. It's a sport that is evolving at a rapid rate. And Dabo Sweeney is stuck way 10, 10, 15 years ago. And I get it. He's an old style coach. Uh, It's not going to work for Clemson. I hate to say it. I hate to say it to Dabo because I think he's a tremendous coach. He develops talent. He's a great uh, role model for his players. He, he does everything right in terms of culture, but he doesn't have the transfer portal down, and that will be his biggest downfall. When you see it from multiple years where they struggle, where they struggle versus Duke last year, and they lost, what, 24-7, 27-7, one of those score lines, you can't lose football games like that with the roster that you have and you don't have any transfers like I just don't get it man and with I respect Clemson fans you'll have a great fan base but I think it's time where you kind of you shouldn't defend it anymore and I'm not saying go hate on Dabo but I'm saying like when someone brings it up and be like yeah we should use the portal it's the way college football has become it's the way that the sport has evolved. You like it or you not, you have to evolve with the sport. As a fan, as a coach, as a player, all three, you have to evolve if you want to stay in the sport, if you want to be in the sport. And if he doesn't do it, maybe Clemson, I saw someone, maybe Clemson should move on. Not necessarily firing Dabo because I think that'd be a little disrespectful. But maybe you have a conversation with Dabo, the administration. Hey, Dad, well, listen, you're, you're, you're a great coach. We respect what you've done here. Won national championships. You put us at the top of the top. Uh, and, you know, a big-time program in college football. Recruit at a great level. But we need to evolve in transfer pool and NIL. And Clemson, they still have a – you know, I think they'll have a great year and uh, make the – college football playoff potentially because I think they'll be in the ACC championship game. Do it for me. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.